reward. Bravo, your majesty. Bravo. Thank you. I accept. Okay, the money from the sale of the Aurora Diamond will find the armies and kingdom. Uh, what's up, closer? All right, so now we got enough to buy the melee level four or level five. Excuse me. That's what we're gonna go do. Oh, why is this on my screen still? What the hell? It's been glitchy lately. Okay. Let's see, I don't know what we gotta do today. Welcome to but one thing we gotta do. What the? Why did I come to my sanctuary? There's something I needed to come to my sanctuary for. Oh, road to rule. That's it. Oh, I cannot. Okay. Never mind. You have shown yourself to be a most talented monarch. The treasury is positively overflowing. You might even consider borrowing a little for yourself. <laughs> of course, it never hurts to earn even more. Who knows what the future will bring? With that in mind, I would like to discuss the thorny issue of child benefits, which were abolished under your brother's rule. There are vocal elements within the community who are clamoring for us to bring it back. In the interests of the treasury, and of the long-term welfare of the people, I have a counter-proposal. It's somewhat radical, but rather brilliant, if you don't mind me saying. We charge people for every child they have. This would keep the population low, but more importantly, the treasury high. Is it really fair to bring new life into such an uncertain world? And won't that gold go to help the children who have already been born? Of course, you may also choose to keep Logan's policies. The matter is entirely in your hands. Okay, well, we're not going to charge people for having kids. They're already going to have well, enough... Enough money to spend on them. Will be ecstatic, I'm sure. Perhaps you are considering making a personal donation to the treasury to make up for the shortfall. It is entirely your decision, as always. Shall we proceed with the rest of your appointments? Here is the royal agenda for the day. Okay. Uh, consider a proposal to re renovate the Bowerstone shelter and orphanage. Consider a proposal to how deal with excess sewage in Bowerstone Industrial. Meet with Paige. Except, let's do it. As you can see, you have two audiences in the throne room to begin. I've heard rumors that Reaver's latest proposals are both scandalous and delicious. It should be most entertaining. It should be. Alright, so we have quite a bit of money, so uh, if we ever need to do anything good, we can since we kind of trans... Uh, cr kind of uh, transitioned into... Uh, a good character, sorry, I was looking at that Attention. what that girl was doing on the ground for a second. For the King of Albion. Your Majesty. This hearing concerns the face other way, you of the stone shelter and orphanage. Paige will speak for the disenfranchised people of the city. Reva will dispute her cause. As always. You may speak. Your Majesty. The shelter has long been the only refuge for the homeless, the poor, and the orphaned. And until we can change the whole world for the better, it will continue to be their only hope of survival. Isn't it time we held out a helping hand to those who need it most? The shelter is underfunded and the building has fallen into disrepair. Invest in the shelter and orphanage, and perhaps we can begin to create a better future for Albion's forgotten people. I could not agree more. The city and its people are in dire need. But it is not charity they require. It is love. I propose we use this dilapidated building to help both them and ourselves. For love and money have always gone hand in hand. Let us inaugurate Bowerstone's first brothel. A brothel? Uh, brothel Bordello Whorehouse. The name is unimportant. What matters is that the people get the love they need, and we get their money. <laughs> yes, it's for your majesty to decide. Refurnish the shelter and orphanage, or convert it into a house of ill repute. Okay, well, we're going to have to put that into an orphanage. There's no point to have a brothel. 
Prostitution is not something I look up upon. The Ballastone shelter shall be refurbished at the Crown's expense. Thank you, Your Majesty. You've done the right thing. As you wish, Your Majesty. The parentless tykes and their destitute friends shall have a palace to call their own. Okay, consider for pros on how to deal with the excess sewage in Bowerstone Industrial. Sure, let's get started. Are you a beggar? Too lazy to own your own clothes? Or perhaps an orphan? Aching for a boat? Oh, okay, that is nice. Then come to Reva Industries Shelter and Orphanage, where you'll find food, beds, clothes, and even new parents. No matter who you are, we care. Even if you don't deserve it. Alright. Quest completed. 50. Today, you will deal with a pressing environmental issue. The disposal of the city's waste. Reaver will offer his proposal. A member of the Morningwood community will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, I'm sure you will have noticed a certain aroma permeating the city of late, even more nauseating than usual. I fear it is not merely the stench of the underprivileged. Bowerstone is beginning to have a serious waste disposal. We require an inexpensive and efficient solution, and I believe I have hit upon one. Uh, now, currently, part of our waste is being disposed of in the Morningwood Marsh. With very little effort, Reaver Industries could redirect all of the Bowerstone sewer system to flow directly into that region. As you know, it's a desolate place with no financial or cultural value to the kingdom. There could be little discussion as to the logic of this decision. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This isn't right. Not right at all. <laughs> We're all children of the soil. <laughs> it's in our hearts. It's in our blood. It's under our fingernails. What I mean is, we're all equal when it comes to dirt, like. From dirt we come to dirt we go. Yes. <laughs> we who reside in morning would have as good a as funny. clean as anyone. And what of morning would itself? It's nature spirits, it's woodland elves, and water fairies. Do they not deserve freedom from pollution too? Don't destroy paradise with your urban dregs, man. Channel the waste. Be one with the cycle of life. You have all these, like, factories and stuff, don't you? Turn one into a, you know, a, oh, what do you call it? One of those things. A, a sewage reclamation facility. Right on. What shall you decide, Your Majesty? Huh. Well, no, let's. We're gonna build the sewage plan. Can you we have the money. The fumes we would be releasing into the air if we would. Morning wood is to be left unspoiled. We will find other ways to deal with Bower Stone sewage. Although I do hate morning wood, so I could have done that, but. The king has spoken. I am turning morning into a good person. Be used as a waste site. The sanitation committee will look into safer alternatives. Groovy. You are like a majestuous eagle, Your Majesty. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm an You're eagle. In touch with your inner, your inner innards. Maybe they should and like invest in a school system or something. The bottom of her heart. A pity. I must admit, I was rather looking forward to breathing fresh air, but I'm sure Your Majesty knows best. Yeah, and me try. You, you tried having me killed, River. Shut the hell up. Although I should listen to him, but if you do play this game, oh, let's go ahead and watch this real fast. As such, Riva Industries is delighted to announce the opening of the. Oh, see, that is nice. Sewage recycling facility, because there can be no affluence without effluence. <laughs> The day is almost over, Your Majesty. Only one more appointment left. 
Page has requested a meeting in the old rebel headquarters. How very cloak and dagger. I wonder what she wants. Hey, Meet Page at the rebel headquarters. Uh, we will do that. Um... But I am actually going to end this one here, and when we come back, we will go ahead and meet Paige at the Rebel Headquarters. So, I will see you guys then. As always, have a good one.